Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And on my one-shot color enhancement video, we got an amazing question from one of our viewers, Nina at Old Girl Photography. And it's an amazing question that I feel deserves a video to answer. And Nina's question was, can you get the same result by waiting to split the channels until after using the statistical stretch? And today, we're gonna answer that question using real data to compare the results. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Nina, that's an amazing question. Now let's jump on in and answer it. Now to answer Nina's amazing question, we're gonna be working with NGC 2264. Now this image was captured using my ASI 533MC one-shot color camera with an Antlia tri-band filter and my Skywatcher 200P OTA strapped to my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount. Now this image has already been dynamically cropped. The initial star correction done using Blur Exterminator's Correct Only and the image has already been linear fit. Now the blue channel was the most prominent channel. I went ahead and did the linear fit using the blue channel as the reference. And the question here is, is it worth taking your one shot color image, separating the color channels, doing part of the corrective phase with the channels separate? Or should you leave the channels combined until you either stretch or uh, stretch them combined and then separate them and work them that way? And that's a very interesting question. So what we need to do is make sure that we have an even playing field. In other words, identical images so we can have an accurate comparison. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clone this image a couple of times. I'm gonna minimize the original image. And here, we can agree that all images are identical in every single way. The image on the left is gonna be the image that we do combined. So I'm gonna name this one shot color combined. The image on the right is gonna be the one that we separate. So I'm gonna name this one shot color set. So let's go ahead and minimize one shot color sep. And we're gonna go ahead and do a background extraction. And that's the point that these images are up to. And this is really the point that I've demonstrated where I separate the channels. So let's go to script, SETI Astro, automatic DVE. We're gonna use default settings and execute. We'll go ahead and do a quick check of our background model. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick 24-bit stretch on our image. We'll minimize both of these and put them off to the side for comparing later. Now let's work with our separated image. We're gonna go ahead and separate the color channels. Let's minimize the combined image. We'll minimize these and we'll work with them one at a time. So we'll go ahead and start with blue. We'll do a 24-bit stretch, script, SETI Astro, automatic DVE, and execute using default settings. We'll do a quick check of our background model. We'll do a quick 24-bit stretch on the image. We'll minimize and keep those together. We'll move on to green, do a quick 24-bit stretch, script, SETI Astro, automatic DBE, and execute using default settings. We'll do a quick check of our background model, do a quick 24-bit stretch, Minimize both and keep those together. And finally red, we'll do a 24-bit stretch, script, SETI Astro, automatic DBE, 
and execute using default settings. And we'll go ahead and check our background model, do a 24-bit stretch on the image, and then we'll go ahead and minimize. Next, we're gonna go ahead and combine the background extracted channels. We'll go to Process, All Processes, Channel Combination. For red, we're gonna go ahead and apply the red background extracted channel. For green, we'll go ahead and apply the green background extracted channel. And for blue, we'll go ahead and apply the blue background extracted channel. We'll hit the circle. Let's exit out of channel combination. And let's go ahead and bring our combined image, do a 24-bit stretch on our separated image that we just combined. And here you go. You can already see some data loss when we did the background extraction on the combined image versus the separated image. But now, why is that? Let's go ahead and name this combined. We'll minimize this and put it up next to our original image. Let's separate the color channels. So now we have the three color channels from the image that we background extracted with the channels combined. Again, let's go ahead and work these one at a time. So we have our red channel here. We'll do a 24-bit stretch. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab the red channel that we did the background extraction on with the channel separated. And we can see a little bit of difference, such as, let's zoom into this area here. Let's clone the zoom. And you can see the difference in how the background extraction was performed with the channels combined versus separated. Now, when you have your channels separated, you have the different gradients and things like that along with the signal and the background extraction is going to behave differently with the channel separated versus combined, as you can see here with the comparison images. Let's go ahead and minimize our red and let's bring out our green here. Here's the green channel that was background extracted with the channels combined. And here's the green channel that we background extracted with the channels separated. Again, we'll take this area for example. Let's clone that zoom here. And you can see the difference in how the green channel was background extracted with all channels combined here on the left versus the channel separated on the right. And then finally we have blue. Let's go ahead and grab blue. We'll do a 24 bit stretch. And here's the blue channel that was background extracted with all channels combined versus background extracted with the channel separated. Now blue is one of the weakest signals. It can be one of the weakest signals, one of the hardest ones to pick up. So there may not be a whole lot of difference, but if we come into this area here, let's clone that zoom. I'm not sure if the uh, video can pick up the differences, but we definitely have some differences here in how the channels were uh, background extracted. And those differences is what led to the differences here in how these channels turned out or how these images turned out. And you can even see this in the histogram. If we take a look and we go to process all processes and we come down to generalized hyperbolic stretch and we look at the combined. So we did the background extraction with the channels combined 
we can see the histogram curve. And they're a little bit separated and that can get taken care of, you know, using SPCC. But then when we take a look at when we background extracted the channels individually, we have a much different, much tighter histogram curve. And one thing to keep in mind, this can be a results may vary scenario. It really depends on the data set, the conditions that you were imaging in, how your camera picks up the different signals. There's a whole array of variables that can go into it. But I'm not really concerned about this data here. I wanna hear what you have to say. Have you tried this before? And what were your results? If you haven't tried it, I encourage you, take your one shot color images, separate the color channels and do this. Let me know if you've gained data like you see here. If your images turned out differently, better, worse, what are your thoughts on this? So I hope you found this video useful and if you did and want to help support the channel, click on that join button and check out the available Hidden Light Photography memberships. There's lots of perks in it for you and your support helps me create more content. Also, do me a favor, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any future content. Drop a comment in the comment section. Did you learn anything new? Do you have a question that you would like answered in a video? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.